Hey, what's up guys? I'm back, and on this episode of VFX Studio, we're taking a look at my first entry for the hit film superhero contest. So if you weren't aware, a contest was hosted by FX Home on YouTube to create a visual effects shot with a superhero theme. The contest ended as of June 4th, 2012. Here's my first entry. So the first thing I did was create the tornado. Create a plane and drop the effect called Particle Whirl onto it. You'll see yellow and red particles emitted in an explosive way. Adjust the birth rate to around 300 and set the animation to Twirl or Vortex. Under Physics, lower the gravity and under Particle, change the particle type to Faded Sphere. Now under Opacity Map, you can change the color of the tornado. If you change the color map to Custom, you can see different values for different positions in the tornado. The color at the percentage affects parts of the tornado. I keyframe the Y position to come down from the sky as it did in the actual film. Under Producer, you'll find controls for the radius of X, Y, and Z. I ended up changing my animation type to Vortex, and keyframe the X position over time, left and right, so that the tornado would swirl down. Now I found a background picture and masked out the light behind the buildings. Drop in a cloudy background under everything, and make sure to enable 3D layers by pressing this box for each layer. The extra debris around the tornadoes was created by going to Physics, Floor, and setting the floor action to Ice. This way, the particles slide across the floor instead of going under. Set the Y radius to just above zero. Duplicate it and raise the Y radius until the debris covers the tornado. Now create a plane and search for the Advanced Lightning effect. Under Lightning Type, change it to Strike. Change the Blending Mode to Screen. More debris was added with the particle world, and the direction was set towards the middle and was set to Darken and Faded Sphere. Now I just keyframe the camera position, X, Y, and Z rotation randomly to move closer and look in different directions. Now add an adjustment layer and drop hue and saturation, color balance, and tint onto it. I was going for a bluish color as in the movie. Now you finish the first scene. For the last scene, it's pretty much the same thing except three tornadoes, but the lightning debris and everything else is pretty much the same. I did keyframe the X radius of the middle tornado to increase as it touched down on the street. The car was stock footage, all I did was keyframe it up and out of the scene. The camera was keyframed the same way as before, just a vertical movement as the tornado came down. Copy and paste the color correction settings from the first scene onto this one, and you're done. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like rating below and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you have suggestions for new effects or any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. You can also follow me on Twitter at VFXS. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching.